Hi guys, welcome to my nine week pregnancy update. Baby is as big as a grape or a blue butterfly or something like that, I said on my app, or the size of a jack, which I don't know if you know what I'm talking about when I say jack, but like Google jack and you'll understand. But anyway, that's as big as baby is. I can't keep track from week to week what's going on. I'm barely just keeping on with this nausea. Okay, I'm on my phone. I'm on my app. Um, the tooth buds are developing this week, which is pretty cool. The four chambers of the heart have formed. Um, the placenta is now going to start taking over, um, producing the hormones, which hurry up because once that starts happening, then usually the nausea lets up. So I'm like, come on, let's go. Yeah, so that's all this. That's all that's going on with baby this week. Lots more to go. Um, a grape is pretty big, so um, I'm definitely feeling like the, my uterus is growing. Like it's very hard, like um, down by my pubic bone area. So I could definitely feel like the uterus getting bigger. Um, it's more firm. I tried to find the heartbeat the other day. I have like a home Doppler. You just like have. Um, jelly and then um, the Doppler and I have like earphones and I thought I caught it for like a half second but I couldn't find it again so I think it's still too little to hear the heartbeat so I'll try again in another couple days. My nausea is still kicking my butt. Um, I'm still taking the sample that my doctor gave me. Uh, I forget what it's called but it's like a combination of of Unisom and B6. I have one more pill tonight and then I'm out of it. So then I'll just start taking the B6 vitamin and the Unisom just not together. So hopefully that will help um, me, my nausea, and my nausea will get better. Um, it's been really tough. It seems like in the mornings and throughout the day it's not too bad, but as soon as like the day goes on and like the evening comes, that's when it gets the worst. Like it it gets really bad. Yesterday and today I've kind of felt like I don't even have an appetite which is weird because usually I'll have nausea and I'll be like I have nausea so I need to eat but the past two days it's been I have nausea and I don't want to eat at all. So that's been kind of weird. Um, so I'm trying to eat. I'm not snacking like I just eat three meals a day and that's it. Like that's all I can do. Um, I don't really have cravings although anything like sweet sounds good to me but that's me all the time I love sweets so um, I've really been craving milkshakes lately so I've been trying and getting those every once in a while I think I'm starting to get a cold I don't know if I got it from Grayson or from Anthony or just from being out and about but um, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but my nose is so stuffy and runny and I have a sore throat so it's like I'm dealing with nausea and then I'm also dealing with the cold. It's just not fun. <laughs> I've been going to the bathroom a ton more lately. Um, it's just, I drink a lot because I'm thirsty all the time and I, so I'm peeing a ton. So I am going to the bathroom a ton which is really annoying to have to like get up after I'm all comfy and laying down a million times to have to go to the bathroom. but. It's just gonna get worse, I know. So yeah, I feel like the uterus is really starting to push on my bladder more because I am doing more trips to the bathroom. Also, I think I was wearing this jacket in my last video. I swear it is a week later. I just really like this vest. I got it from Dry Goods. It is my new favorite store. Well, I've liked this store for like a year, so it's not really new, but it's in Columbus in the Polaris Mall. I don't know if it's anywhere else. But it is the best store ever. They have like the comfiest clothes. It's so soft. I love it. Dry goods. Go check it out. I've been pretty tired at night lately. I've been having the craziest dreams. I feel like last time I didn't have like that many dreams that I can remember. This time I'm having crazy dreams. I've had scary dreams where I'm like in a lady's, like an old lady's cabin and then she's like running around trying to get me. I dream I was a dog and somebody was chasing me. I dream that Anthony wanted to divorce me for like no reason. Um, I had a dream that I was putting Grayson in a like day camp down in Cincinnati. Why? I don't know. Like half of these dreams don't even make sense. 
Um, so it's crazy. I never know what I'm going to dream next. And it, they're so vivid, I can remember them when I wake up the next day. So that's crazy. My acne, last week I was saying that it was getting better. This week it's getting worse. I have a line from like the side of my mouth down. It's like three acne spots in a row. And it's so big, I have to like cover it up with makeup and even then it doesn't help that much. And it hurts so much, like, oh, like, and it's not just there, like, I have it on the sides of my face and it's everywhere and it's just, oh, I feel so ugly. <laughs> so that's been really rough. I thought it was getting better, but it's not. I do feel like my boobs are getting bigger and they're very tender still. It's like goes on and off, but mo for the most part, they're pretty tender. There have been more times recently where I've just been like exhausted. Just like, I haven't been doing much during the day, but I just get so tired because obviously I'm growing a baby. And it's hard when I have my almost two-year-old son running around because I have to like chase him and try to keep up with him, but I just really want to just like lay on the couch and do nothing. <laughs> so it's hard, like I feel like a bad mom, but I try to keep up with Grayson as much as I can. I heard from my like um, pregnancy app thing, um, a couple of the moms were saying that they've been taking lemon heads um, or any type of sour candy to help with nausea so I have gotten lemon heads I eat them I like them I don't know if it's really helping with the nausea or it's just I'm thinking that it's helping with the nausea but I guess it can't hurt right I mean it is more sugar but uh, I'm willing to do anything to try to lessen this nausea it just makes me feel so crummy and it makes me just want to have like I just want to eat out all the time. Like, oh, the other day I was craving burgers, which I did that a lot when I was pregnant with Grayson, too. I was craving burgers all the time. Last night I wanted a burger so bad, but I didn't, I didn't go get one because I was too lazy. <laughs> so I had a peanut butter sandwich instead. But it's like, I, all I want to do is just eat out. I don't want to eat food that I make. I want to eat food that other people make. Like, it's so specific. But, yeah, that's... So that's kind of what I've been craving. I haven't gained any weight yet. Um, I'm still the same weight that I was when I started. So I, know, I guess that's good. I don't know. I wouldn't want to gain a whole bunch, but I think you're supposed to gain like five-ish pounds in the first trimester, but I'm not out of it yet. Next week we will be telling Anthony's parents that we're expecting, and then we should after that be making our announcement on social media so hopefully I can edit these vlogs and get them pretty updated um, and put them on YouTube for you all to follow along with. My sister Allison is coming over tomorrow and we're going to do a little photo shoot with Grayson. We're going to do the photo shoot for the announcement that I'm going to post on social media. I don't know if I talked about this or not but we're going to, I already decorated my letter board and it's going to say roses are red, violets are blue, we are having baby number two. I'm going to have Grayson standing next to it. Hopefully he'll stand still and smile. And uh, I'm going to have him wear his big brother shirt. And then um, I'm thinking about maybe going out and buying like a couple of balloons with helium in it. Some red, pink, and white to go with like the Valentine's Day theme because I'm going to post it probably a couple days after Valentine's Day. Um, so I don't know if I'll be that ambitious to like go out and get balloons, but I think it'd be really cute if I did. So we're going to do that tomorrow. I'm sure I'll post on the next video uh, once we have that up. I'm still freezing all the time. I always want to have like blankets on me. I'm always cold. I'm never too hot, I don't feel like. But it is like freezing outside and it's snowing right now, so it's pretty cold. I'm sure come July when it's so hot and I'm so hot myself and so huge I'm gonna be wishing it was cold outside but for now it's freezing and I hate it oh that's what I keep forgetting to mention this and this has been ever since I found out I was pregnant I have been very emotional any sappy um, commercial that comes on TV I'm bawling I watch sometimes I watch like America's Got Talent or whatever and they have like those sappy stories of you know all the trials that people have been through and I'm just bawling you know every time I see anything sappy on the Super Bowl one of the commercials it was a Google commercial and it was this old guy telling Google to remember the certain things about his wife and like just going through memories and I'm just bawling the whole time so I've been 
super emotional lately. I've just been crying like on a whim. I cry all the time and <laughs> it's, it's funny, but yeah, I'm super emotional. I keep wanting to say that and I keep forgetting to put that in my videos. Yes. I've got acne all over. I'm still nauseous all the time. <laughs> and yeah, it's this isn't the best part of pregnancy. Um, but nine weeks, I'm almost ten weeks, so hopefully I only have three or four more weeks of this nausea and then it goes away. And um, I have my next doctor's appointment coming up in a couple weeks, so I'm excited for that next ultrasound. And um, yeah, other than that, everything's been fine. Um, I haven't had any bleeding at all this whole pregnancy yet. I didn't with Gray either, so that's been all good. I haven't really had any worries. Um, every now and then I'll have like a crampy feeling or just like a sharp pain in my uterus area, but I think that's just everything expanding, <laughs> getting ready for what's to come. So yeah, really no worries. Um, it's just been trying to keep on top of this nausea. So hopefully going, switching from this medication to the Unisom and the B6 will help. Um, but if not, I just gotta get through it. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's all for this um, uh, update. I guess it wasn't very exciting. I didn't really have much to say. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!